It's time that you start taking TikTok way more seriously. At this point, you know two things. First, that it's not going away. Secondly, that you've been sitting on the sidelines this whole entire time and watching people go from zero to thousands, hundreds to thousands, millions of followers seemingly overnight. If you watch this entire video, there is absolutely no reason that you can't gain at least 10,000 followers in the next seven days or less. I don't care if you have zero followers right now, 100,000 followers right now, or even a million followers right now. There is no excuse that you're not gaining followers on TikTok right now because it is the best platform by far Far to grow an audience. Also, I don't care if you've never created a TikTok post before or if the last 300 posts that you've posted have flopped. If you listen to everything that I'm about to tell you in this video, it's going to take your TikToks to the next level. I'm going to explain every single thing that you need to do from what hashtags to use, what time to post, what kind of content to make, and all the different factors that TikTok is pushing right now. So for starters, TikTok is pushing several types of content right now. First, green screens. Second, responding to comments. Third, duets, both vertical duets and side-by-side -side duets. They're also pushing a ton of content that is 13 to 22 seconds long. If your content is less than 13 seconds long, odds are TikTok is not going to push it out at all. And finally, they're pushing out videos with over 85% watch time and they're pushing reposts like crazy right now. Way crazier than I've ever seen before. All that being said, you probably have the question right now, Rob, but how can I use this to my advantage over the next seven days? And I'm about to show you how. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button so that you never miss another one of my episodes because I am the CEO of helping you grow on TikTok. In addition, I need you to go follow at Kareem and Ahmed, he's about to blow up, they're about to blow up. They make amazing comedy content. They're inserting all of my tips into their content and I want you guys to be able to say 30 days from now, wow, I followed that person when they didn't have a huge following because trust me, they're gonna blow up. So in order to ensure that you do gain a ton of followers over the next seven days, I need you guys to use this checklist when it comes to posting every single TikTok. That means if you post just one TikTok that doesn't follow this checklist that I'm about to tell you, that is gonna be the reason that your followers aren't increasing. First, every single one of your posts needs to be 13 to 22 seconds long. If it's less than 13 seconds long, TikTok odds are it's just not going to give it as much exposure on the For You page as it would have. And if it's longer than 22 seconds long, it's just incredibly difficult to make a really good video that's that long that's going to hook the user in and get over 85% watch time so you do get a ton of For You page views. Trust me, 9 out of 10 times your views are going to be drastically lower if you don't stick to making your videos 13 to 22 seconds long. Also, every single video needs to start with text on the screen that's going to act as a hook. If you want to learn a lot more about how to create a hook and what kind of things you should be putting in that, you need to get my free TikTok growth course. I'm going to link out to it in the description below. Other people charge $250 for the same exact information that I give away totally free in my growth course, so make sure you guys get that. Also, it's incredibly important that you take a couple things into consideration when you're adding text on the screen. First, that text should be constantly changing. Secondly, the text shouldn't be too big. The text should add to the video. It should add value. It should be complimentary. It shouldn't totally take away from the video and take up somebody's attention. That being said, you need to also make sure that it's not being covered by the description or by the follow button, the like button, the comment button, the share button, anything like that. And also, take into consideration that everybody on TikTok has a different phone, so I would strongly recommend that you put the text towards the middle of the screen because if you put it at the edges, it might get cut off if somebody's on an iPhone 6 or on an Android. And when the text does get cut off like that, odds are they're not going to engage with your video and odds are they're not going to watch the whole entire thing because it just looks like crap compared to what it should look like. In addition to crafting a perfect hook, you're going to need to add two more things to your content that are incredibly important. Honestly, they might be the most important things. But before before I tell you about that, I need to tell you what hashtags you need to use, how many times you should be posting, and how often you should be posting. So to start with the hashtags, you should be using three to four hashtags every single video. Two trending hashtags from the Discover page, two hashtags that are post specific. When it comes to choosing post specific hashtags, if your post is about dogs, literally just type in hashtag dogs and pick the two hashtags that have the most views under that search. 80% of your posts should be posted from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. and from 7.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. your time. The other 20% of the posts should just be sprinkled throughout the day. And once you know what post period works best for you, I strongly suggest you post all of your posts during that period. As far as whether or not you could post back to back, you can do that. But I would recommend that you space your posts out so that you do take advantage of the influx of supply and demand of content on TikTok. For example, if you post all of your posts at 9 p.m., but there's not a huge demand for content until 10 p.m., you would have missed out on having a video get a lot more views than it could have had you not posted at that time. Ideally, every single one of you watching this video should be posting five to six times a day. I would also follow this formula when it comes to increasing the amount of posts that you do every day. If you're getting less than 100 followers a day, you need to be posting five to six times a day. In addition to that, you need to follow every single person that comments and likes on your videos. This is gonna increase the odds that they're gonna follow you back and it's also gonna get a lot more people to engage with your content because they're gonna say, hey, Jeff really liked my content. Jeff went and followed me back. Wow, I'm gonna support Jeff in every post that he does that I see. Trust me, this is key for growing that initial following, especially if you have zero followers right now or if you're under 10K followers. If you're 
you're gaining 100 to 200 followers every single day, I strongly suggest you post seven to eight times a day. Once you start gaining 500 or more followers a day, post nine to 10 times a day. And once you're gaining over 1,000 followers a day, you should be posting as much as humanly possible, but I would not exceed posting more than 20 times a day. So let's recap everything that I just said, and then we can get into what your content should actually be about and those really two important factors that I mentioned in the beginning. So first, you need to be posting the right amount per day. Second, you need to be using the right hashtags. Third, you need to post at the right times. Fourth, you need to implement all of the things that TikTok is pushing that I mentioned in the first couple minutes of the video. And five, you need to make sure that every single one of your videos begins with a really good hook that's gonna make people wanna watch the whole entire video. So as far as what your content should be about, you need to be following a very, very simple formula. But trust me, if you don't follow this formula, it's gonna be the reason that all of your views flop or the reason that your views are decreasing right now because you weren't stepping up your game. And for those of you that don't know, I do have a mentorship program and an accelerator program that both guarantee that I can help you grow your TikTok account. That's why I know all of this stuff because I'm looking at hundreds of TikTok accounts helping other people grow every single day. It doesn't matter what niche you're in, I guarantee that I can help you grow. Literally, if you don't grow, you get your money back. And the only reason that I'm able to do that because no guru on the internet has ever had a money back guarantee like that before is because I know exactly what you need to post to get onto the For You page and I'm about to tell it to you. And I've made a full length video about how the For You page works, but very simply, all the For You page does is push out content that looks like content that has been successful on TikTok in the past. The way that it works is TikTok knows that they have an audience for that content because people have engaged with that content in the past. So when you make content that looks like that, guess what? It's gonna push out like crazy to that audience. Sometimes people make an original post that then inherently just works for an audience and that's great. But if you're serious about growing on TikTok and you're not already famous, you need to make sure you're following this formula. If you wanna gain a ton of followers on TikTok, you need to either post one, the really broad trends that are going on on the Discover page and the For You page, or you need to follow your niche specific trends, which is gonna be what shows up under those niche specific hashtags as the top posts and what the top creators within your niche are posting. These are just naturally going to be the trends and TikTok knows that they have a really large audience for people that create content like that. So once you create content like that, you're gonna get a ton more views. You do this in two simple ways. First, by duetting those really big creators or the trends that you see on the For You page or the Discover page, or secondly, just recreating those posts for yourself. Now I'm not saying literally recreate the post, but model your posts after that and get as close to those initial posts as you can. This means that your text needs to look the same, your description needs to look the same, you need to be using the same sounds, the same music, the same hashtags. All of these things TikTok takes into consideration, even down to the color of the text and how long it was on the screen for. The TikTok algorithm knows all of these things and all of these factors that goes into a video and they judge your content based on it. But now that you know that, you have no excuse to not be taking all of these things into consideration when you're creating a post. For example, I'll give you guys a prime example. My account at underscore Robert Benjamin, for those of you that don't know, I just use it as a test account. This means posting random content and I use it to drive people to my YouTube channel. The reason that I don't have posts that go viral every single day is because I'm not posting trending stuff. How to grow on TikTok is not trending on TikTok. The reason being is because then just everybody would post about how to grow on TikTok and TikTok doesn't want to push out content that isn't real and isn't actually providing anybody with any value. That is exactly why they suppress all of these gurus content. But whenever I do post about something that's a broad trend or something that's trending, for example, my post about the TikTok getting shut down in the US, it got a million views. Whenever I post about anything that is a broad trend, it gets over 500,000 views, which shows you clearly that one, account authority isn't really a thing. Secondly, each individual post is judged based off of each individual post. If something is trending, it gets pushed. If it's not trending, it gets suppressed. And I would not base your TikTok account off of what I do because I do not care about growing on TikTok. I grew from zero to over 550,000 followers in just 90 days following the exact tips that I'm telling you guys about, but I don't care about that anymore. I care about my impact, not how many views I have. If I get more views and participate in the trends on TikTok, that's not gonna help me help people grow on TikTok. That's not gonna help me do anything. It's gonna help me grow on TikTok is me posting about my YouTube channel and TikTok tips so that people could just find out about me one by one. But for 99% of you guys, I'm gonna assume that you do wanna grow on TikTok. Think about it like this. If I wasn't posting what I post on my own TikTok account, I wouldn't know all of these things. In addition to that, you probably wouldn't know who I am. Like if I was just participating in the trends like everybody else and just making trending content, then guess what? You probably would've never found me. I wouldn't know that all of these things work and do not work. I wouldn't be a TikTok guru then. I would just be another person that's just posting content that TikTok pushes out because it's broad and it's trending. And I'm not saying that it has to be broad and trending. It can also just be trending within your niche. For example, art, comedy, all of these things are trending like crazy on TikTok. So don't think that you need to just participate in the broad stuff. Those niches are large enough 
that you could gain millions of followers just participating in that niche. So the other things that you need to take into consideration are one, the watch time you're receiving, two, the engagement that you're receiving, and three, doubling down on what works. You guys would be totally, you guys would probably think I'm a nut, like nuts. Like, I don't know if anybody saw a Kanye West rally that he had. It probably looks something like that when I'm going through check-ins for my mentorship program and my accelerator program, because I'll see somebody that did a duet, they got 100,000 views, three days go by, and boom, they haven't done another duet. What are you guys doing? What? I, I don't understand how many times I have to say it. Once something works, you need to double down on it. If your post about dogs worked, well then guess what? You need to post that same exact post or something very similar to that post, the same topic, the same kind of feel, the same look to it over and over and over again until it doesn't work anymore. I don't know if you guys notice this, but Addison, Charlie, Dixie, Bryce Hall, all these people, they use the same song, do the same dance every single post because it works, because it's trending. The second that it stops working, they stop doing it. The reason that they're doing this is because they know that when they post about that, it's gonna go crazy. You need to do the same exact thing in your content. If you have a post that works or a format that works, you need to keep doing that over and over and over again because that's what's going to get you a lot of followers. You can all gain 10,000 followers on TikTok in the next seven days if you just follow all of the simple directions that I just outlined to you and take advantage of what works when it starts to work. For example, if you post about skincare right now and it works because the format worked or the song that you use worked, keep doing that over and over and over again. Skincare is trending right now on TikTok, so if you are posting about that, I would strongly suggest that you hop on that. Even if you're not posting about that and it's not part of your niche, I would share your skincare routine with TikTok. It's something that's gonna make you more relatable to a lot more people and it's trending right now, so you'll probably get a lot of views. Another thing that I really wanna emphasize is these things eventually will not work anymore and then what you're gonna need to do, whatever you were doing that worked, it's not gonna work anymore. You need to go back to the drawing board, literally rewatch this video and go back to step one and do exactly what I told you to do, which is find out what the trends are, what the trending things are, and then start doing those things. Make sure you're implementing everything else because all that stuff really does matter. But you need to make sure that you find what's trending, do it a ton of times. Something's going to start working. You do that way more. It's not going to work anymore. And then you're back to step one. So trust me, if you have something that works right now, you need to be hammering that like crazy. That's how you're going to get those 10,000 followers in the next seven days. You also need to make sure that you're implementing everything else that I said in this video. If you guys are disappointed, with how quickly you're growing on TikTok, I strongly recommend you get into my mentorship program or my accelerator program. Both of them are gonna guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok. If you don't grow over the time period, well then guess what? You're gonna get your money back, no questions asked. Hell, at that point, what do you have to lose? And if not, you could just keep watching my free YouTube content. If you've never seen me before, I have hundreds of videos about how to grow on TikTok, but everything that you could possibly wanna know. If you're on a mobile device, look below you to find them. If you're on a laptop or a desktop or something like that, look to your left or look to your right. I don't know where it is, but you'll see all of my videos.